estimation of magnesium by EDTA method by BTEC EC students 2020. Estimation of magnesium from EDTA method. In the given screenshots, students can note it down as per their choice and convenience. It's just for an example. So first of all, you can see we are taking EDTA in the burette. We have already prepared EDTA and as you can see, the burette is filled with EDTA. Then we just maintain the burette the level of EDTA for our convenience for calculation. Now you can see that there is magnesium sulfate solution. We are taking about 20 ml of magnesium sulfate solution in the cylindrical measuring flask. You can see that we are taking about 20 ml of magnesium sulfate solution to find out how much magnesium is present in that hard water. As you know that magnesium sulfate causes hardness of water. Now taking it in Erlenmeyer flask about 20 ml of magnesium sulfate. Now taking ammonium buffer solution. Now we are taking it from the topper about 5 ml. 5 ml of buffer and you can see about 5 ml of buffer is taken for keeping the pH as required. Now, taking it carefully, we are dropping the 5 ml buffer solution in the Erlenmeyer flask in which magnesium sulfate solution is present. Now, we are putting few drops of EBT and you can see just in few drops it has turned wine red in color. Now we are starting the stirring process, gradually we will put the EDTA in the given solution, so doubt we can obtain the desired results. Gradually stirring it. Gradually we will see the change in color. And this is how the EDTA, the metal indicator complexes reacts as there is alkali solution present for upholding this process. EDTA is consumed by the solution as we will get at the end that how much EDTA has been consumed and this data will help us to estimate the amount of magnesium present. Now you can see gradually the solution has turned blue in color and this is what we need and we will take down all the data.